guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you what I am doing to get aggressive fat loss. So let's get to it. So if you don't know me, I'm Daniel Alam. I make videos about fitness, fashion, lifestyle. And the reason I'm making this video is I have to get aggressively lean very, very fast. And I'm sure most of you are in the same place. You want to get lean fast. Now fast isn't the best way, but sometimes we're just fast and we can't help it. Ask my girlfriend, that doesn't exist. But keep on going with the routine. The reason we are doing an aggressive fat loss is we're going on a work trip. So we got to be lean and we're going to be looking at our best. We got to be shredded. And I originally thought I had more time, but I have less time. So we only have two and a half weeks left. Actually, by the time this video is coming out, we only have two weeks left to get down to 10% body fat. We started off at 15 and we got down to 10. We're going to be making videos on exactly more precise things, how I did it. But these are crucial things that I found helpful to me and I think will help you guys out too. So the first thing I recommend that you do, and this is probably going to be the most, most important thing, is getting a scale. So not only like a weight scale, but a food scale. It is super easy to use. And basically what I mean get a food scale is you got to be tracking your calories. That is going to be, you have to know what's going in your body in order to change your body. So get a scale, measure out everything you eat because you're on a limited time. You got to be precise. You got to get it done. If you have a longer time frame, you can adjust it a little bit. You don't have to track everything. But like me, if you're on a time crunch, you got to track it all. Guys, you gotta be tracking your weight on the scale as well. And then yeah, you gotta track your weight every day to see that progress actually happening. And to see, and if you don't see that progress happening, you gotta be like, okay, this has to be changed. This can be changed there. Oh, I did this, this happened. So ch checking your weight is very important. That being said, your weight might fluctuate really because of water and water weight. So don't be alarmed. Just get your weekly low and go based off of that. Okay guys, the next thing we're gonna have to talk about is cardio. So for me personally, when I'm on, a, on an average day, I'm getting around 10,000 steps. However, when I'm doing a cut, I'm getting more around 15,000 steps. Sometimes even more if I you have to get it, if you're on a strip. So it, when I'm on a cut, I'm getting around 15,000 steps. But if I'm not losing weight as fast as I want to, I will also add in some biking, some walking extra untracked along with the 15,000 steps at the end of my weightlifting workouts. And the reason for this is it's just easy cardio. You, I normally hate doing cardio, but walking is super easy. So sometimes, you know, it's going to be painful. It's going to be a long day where you were just sitting and now 11 p.m. is coming around and you're just spending 40, 50 minutes just walking. And it's just gonna be like that. You're gonna have to push through it. You're gonna have to get done, but you're gonna have to insert some sort of cardio because the calorie deficit isn't gonna do it all by itself. So I recommend walking. I'm getting my 15,000 steps in and yeah. Next point is gonna be about fasting. Fasting really helps me personally. Now, this is gonna be what fasting means to you. To me, it can be two different ways you can do it. One is you wake up and for, for the first two to three hours, for the first two to three hours or even longer, you're not gonna eat anything whatsoever. You just have your water, black coffee if you want it. No calories should be going in your body. Vitamins and stuff are fine. That is option A. Option B, which is the one I prefer, is instead of doing it when you wake up, you stop eating four to five hours before you go to bed. So usually for me, I have my last meal at around 6 p.m. And then I go to bed around 10, 11 p.m. That is personally my habits. And the reason I like it better is because once I'm done eating, I can brush my teeth and just be done. I'm like, okay, I'm going to bed. And I, when I get hungry, I'm going to be asleep. So it's not going to matter. Whereas in the morning, if 
I'm not like doing something. I get like really hungry when I'm not doing anything. It's just hard to distract myself and the day is so long if I have the calories early. That's why I would rather do it at night. Also, another advantage of doing it at night is the morning weight you get is going to be better. So we talked about measuring yourself every morning. The reason I do it is you should measure yourself at the same time. And I do it every morning right after waking up. And that gives me preciser numbers. And if I eat late, then that number isn't going to be tracked properly because of water weight fluctuations. So I recommend doing at night. We're back in the kitchen for the last two points. So the second last point is going to be drinking green tea. So I drink this three-ish hours before I go to bed. And the reason for this is it's not going to make you lose weight. It's no magic trick, but it is great for digestion, what I've found. So when your foods get digested better, you are gonna use up the calories and you will lose weight, probably. But it really works for me, so I drink green tea every night when I'm in a hard cut mode. And then the last thing you're gonna have to do, the most important, you're gonna be have you're gonna have to be in a major calorie deficit. What that means is you're gonna have to eat like not a lot of calories. If you want an exact number, 15, 1700, I guarantee you, no matter who you are, if you're eating 15, 1700 calories a day, you're gonna lose weight, no matter what. Like I'm on 1700 myself, because other originally, before going to LA, which is gonna be vlogs and videos coming out very soon, before I thought I was gonna have three months of prep time, but it ended up being that we only ended up with two months of prep time, and we found that out when we were a month in. So we had to, tr we had to speed up the whole process. We're getting it done and if you want to see my exact diet for getting abs in the shortest period of time the video is coming very soon next week i think or the week after so hit the subscribe button to get that and then we're also going to do our exact workout plan and cardio plan that we were doing along with it along as well coming in the upcoming weeks so subscribe to get all those okay guys and one big thing that i wanted to go over with you is excuse my bed but whatever is the mental focus it takes i have to be completely locked in in order to get where i want to be so like my family they went out for dessert out it was valentine's the other day and i went out with a girl and we went to mcdonald's later on in the night and i didn't get anything there's been so many times where I'm sitting there with my friends, they're eating shawarma, and I'm not eating it wherever I am. I'm measuring everything. My brothers are getting McDonald's, Burger King every day for lunch because my dad is buying and he's like, do you want to know I'm just eating my chicken and rice? It's because you have to be so dialed in and you have to want it bad enough to the point where you're willing to sacrifice everything because you're on such a time crunch, which I am on. And you have to be so precise, you have to be so accurate, you have to be willing to give it all. I was fine taking a mental break, say every three to four weeks. So I took mine six weeks into the cut where I ate at maintenance, just to like let my, but if I wanted to, I could have not eaten at maintenance. It actually helped my body eating there just because it got me through it, but overall, like I was, I'm so locked in. I can't, I hope you guys get to experience this because you get on another level because most dudes out here, you put that temptation of food in front of them, they'll give up. And if you don't, you can run all these people over. You can destroy them. That's what I've noticed. Like I know this is sounding cheesy and whatnot, but it is the truth. I, it t being in that mental place teaches you so much about your life and about yourself. It teaches you that you can do it and that you are strong enough. But yeah, that is going to be all for the video on what to do if you want to, on habits you have to do, on things you have to do to get aggressive fat loss. If you like this video, you want to check out more, check it out on my channel. Follow me on Instagram, Daniel Alum underscore, and subscribe to the channel because we're going to be posting great content coming your way. But I'll see you guys in the next one.